Hello and welcome to another section in mathematics. In this session, we'll be looking at modular arithmetic. Modular arithmetic. But before we do that, let us look at the previous lesson. Hey, welcome back. The objective of today's lesson is to explain the concept of modular arithmetic and then to solve um, problems in addition subtraction multiplication and then um, division of um, modular arithmetic and then how to apply them in daily life okay so let's um look at the concept of um modular arithmetic the concept of modular arithmetic okay modular arithmetic um, is um, a system of um arithmetic um where we are only interested in um the remainder remainder when um, a number is being divided by another number okay now here we are only interested in what in a remainder okay for instance we have five divided by um three and this will give us what um one remainder was two now we are interested in this remainder and not what in the value we got in modular arithmetic what we we'll do here is to try to bring down a number to reduce a number to the mode we are dealing with for instance now in this we say that three is the mode and then um, this is um, the number we are dealing with so five divided by three will give us what two in mode what in mode three so in mode three five is equal to what two in brackets mode three this is how we express this so in mode in mode three five is equal to what two we are not interested in the number we got why we divided five we are interested in what the remainder that's why we said that we are only interested what in the remainder when a number is being divided by another number and then the number used to divide um, another number is called the modulo modulo okay the modulo the modulo is a number used to divide what another number that's what we call what the modular now in this um, example i just gave on the screen three is what our modular okay it's important here also to note that the highest digit the highest digit of um any mode in any mode is um equal to the mode minus one mode minus what one what do we mean if we're dealing with mode two it means that um the um the digit in mode two is um zero and what one two is not included then when we are dealing with mode three we are looking at um zero one and what two there is no what three do we understand so when we are dealing with mode eight we now talk of zero one two three four five six and what seven if i'm dealing with what mode eight okay now with that let us look at um, um some examples now we have um an example on the screen reduce um um 55 to its simplest form to its simplest form under one mode three two um mode four and then c mode five mode five let us start this is very very simple pay close attention to understand what we are doing now 55 um to its simplest form in mode three means 55 divided by three 55 divided by what 3 and uh, 55 divided by 3 will give us what 18 remainder what 1 is that correct now we are interested in this remainder not the value we got so therefore it means that 55 is equal to 1 in what mode 3 that's just the answer do we understand now okay now for four 
mode 4 all we are going to do here is to divide 55 by what by 4 and 55 divided by 4 we give us 13 remainder what 3 and remember we are interested in what the remainder 13 remainder 3 so invariably it means that 55 under mode 4 is equal to what 3 you write in bracket mode 4 so 55 is equal to what 3 do we understand now okay now for mode 5 we have 55 divided by what 5 and 55 divided by 5 will give us what 11 remainder 0 we are interested what in the remainder therefore um 55 is equal to 0 under mode 5 55 is equal to what 0 okay now when we are given a, a number like 5 for us to find its um simplest form in mode 5 2 that would be 5 divided by 5 this is equal to what 1 remainder 0 so it means invariably that 5 under mode 5 is equal to what 0 you write it in bracket mode 5 do we understand now okay so um with this um idea let us now look at um some additive um problems let's look at um, some problems in addition multiplication and um, subtraction okay okay we have a, a problem on the screen it said copy and complete the addition and multiplication tables in modulo 5 on the set 2 3 and 4 copy and complete the addition and multiplication tables in the modulo 5 in modulo 5 on the set 2 3 and 4 okay this is addition because of the plus here and this is our multiplication because of the minus here and because of the this is the our multiplication because of the times here so let us start with um the addition addition means we add this and this this and this this and this this and this and all that so for this we have 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 and that will give us what 4 so we write down our what 4 okay then we have 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 will give us what 5 and 5 is equal to under um modulo 5 remember 5 is equal to what 0 that is 5 divided by 5 will give us what we give us what 1 remainder 0 and we're interested in this 0 so here we have what 0 are you following okay then for this we have 2 plus 4 2 plus 4 2 plus 4 is 6 6 divided by 5 will give us what 1 remainder 1 and we take our remainder which is 1 and add it here okay now for this 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and 5 is equal to what 0 so write 0 3 plus 3 will give us 6 and 6 is equal to what 1 we add it here 1 3 plus 4 is equal to what 7 and 7 is uh, 7 divided by 5 will give us what 1 remainder what 2 we pick our 2 and add it here 4 plus 2 is 6 and 6 is equal to what 1 we add it here 4 plus 3 is 7 and 7 has its remainder to be what 2 you add it here and then we we'll have um, the last one to be 4 plus 4 and 4 plus 4 is equal to what 8 8 divided by 5 will give us what 1 remainder what 3 so we we'll pick our 3 and add it here so we've completed the first table now for multiplication we have um, 2 times 2 which is 4 and 4 is less than 5 so we'll write down our 4 then we have 2 times 3 2 times 3 is what is 6 and 6 is equal to what what do we get 6 to be 1 we add it what here 2 times 4 is what 8 and we got 8 to be what 3 you remember we add it here 3 times 2 is 6 and 6 is equal to what 1 3 times 3 is what is 9 and 9 is equal to what um 9 divided by 5 will give us 1 remainder what 4 is that correct so we have here to be what 4 3 times 4 is equal to what 12 and 12 is equal to 
um two remainder what two so we'll pick our remainder add it here then we'll have four times two to be what eight and eight is equal to what three four times three is twelve what did we get that to be two we we'll have four times four which is what 16 16 divided by 5 will give us what 3 remainder 1 we we'll pick our 1 and add it here is there any confusion on this any confusion on this okay welcome back let's take um, one more example let's take one more example okay we have um, a problem on the screen I said we should complete the table below in mode 5 they've supplied them some answers already so how do we do that since we are dealing with multiplication we have um zero times zero to give us zero is that correct yeah one times zero to give us zero two times zero to give us zero three times zero to give us zero four times zero will also give us zero and five times zero will give us what zero then we'll now move over to this zero times one will give us what zero is that correct one times one will give us one two times one will give us two 3 times 1 will give us 3. 4 times um, 1 will give us 4. And 5 times 1 will give us 5. And 5 under mode 5 is 0. Is that correct? Okay. Now we'll go over to this. Here we have 2. 2 times um, 0 times 2 will give us what? 0. Um, 1 times 2 will give us 2. 2 times 2 will give us 4. 3 times 2 will give us 6. And 6 under mode 5 is equal to what? one remainder one and we are taking the remainder so we have here to be one then four times two we give us eight eight is equal to what um one remainder three so we have our remainder to be what three and then five times two will give us ten and ten is equal to what two remainder zero so we have here to be zero okay we we'll go back to this one times um three will give us what three two times three will give us six and six is equal to one 3 times 3 will give us 9. And 9 is equal to 1 remainder 4. So we have here to be 4. We have 4. 4 times 3 to be what? 12. And 12 is equal to 2 remainder 2. We take our remainder which is 2. Add it here. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 divided by 5 is equal to what? 3 remainder 0. So we are taking 0. We have 0 here. Okay. we we'll go over to 4. 0 times 4 will give us what? 0. 1 times 4 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 is equal to what? 3. You remember? Here it is. Then 3 times um, 4 is 12, and 12 is equal to what? 2. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 divided by 5 will give us what? 3 remainder, 1. So we have a 1. That is how they got this one. And 5 times 4 is 20. 20 divided by 5 will give us 4 remainder, 0. That is this 0. Okay? Let's go back to 5. 5 times... Um, sorry, you have... um. 0 times 5, 0. 1 times 5 will give us 5. And 5 divided by 5 is 1 remainder 0. So we have it up to be 0. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 is equal to what? 0. Remember here. Okay. 3 times 5 is 15. And 15 also is equal to 0. 4 times 5 is what? 20. And 20 is equal to... 20 divided by 5 is equal to um, 4 remainder 0. So we have our 0. 5 times 5 is 25. And 25 divided by 5 will give us 5. Remainder, 0. And we are interested in the 0. So we have 0. And here is the answer. As simple as this. Okay? To refresh your memory on what we've done so far, um, take the test on the screen. Welcome back. Um, we'll stop here for today. But so far, we've been able to explain the concept of modular arithmetic and we've been able to cover the addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication of um, modular arithmetic. Um, in our next class, we'll go over to indices and uh, the laws of indices. Okay? So do well to visit um, the lesson note on the platform for better information on the topic we've just treated today. Feel free to drop your comment or question on the comment section if you are confused in anything we've done today. Okay? So, we'll stop here. Till we meet again in our next class. Stay safe and bye.